got the opportunity to spend a few minutes with Chris Fillmore today and find out how he made the jump from Supermoto Racing to AMA Pro Superbike and how he became part of the KTM team. I started racing motorcycles professionally when I was 16. I started with Supermoto and then uh, I did that all the way up until 2008 when I was 21. Um, and it kind of, Supermoto just, I didn't see it as the right career path for me. And I've always been interested in road racing. And uh, so at the end of 2008, I ended with KTM and I decided I was going to go road racing. And I decided to go road racing. And at first, the sponsors didn't come. Um, so, you know, I spent two years trying to basically develop myself to get a ride where I wasn't paying for myself to go racing. Um, and after two years, I, got, I landed a ride for free with uh, the RMR Rossmeyer Harley Davidson. And then from there, I ended up winning that championship. And KTM said, hey, we're looking to, uh, you know, field a superbike rider. Um, and am I interested? And I was like, of course I'm interested, you know? Like, and it was actually with HMC who runs, used to run my supermoto team. In 2007, I, um, I got together with the team I was routing for, which was a monster Kawasaki, and I got a couple 600s, and I did Weera. We were in CCS. I went with my dad uh, during weekends that were open and free, and we kind of just showed up and, you know, put our best foot forward, and, you know, nothing didn't shock the world in any way, but we were also riding stock bikes and didn't really have any idea what to do for setup. And, you know, we could have used that person that was looking over me, maybe like a Josh Hayes, how he's kind of always, uh, you know, trying to help people out that need a little bit of help. Cause he's been there, he's gone through it all, he knows. Uh, but we jumped in and uh, did okay, but yeah, uh, that's kind of how I got started. I, in 2007, when I was racing Supermoto, I, uh, you know, I built a couple bikes and went road racing with CCS and Wira. Beginning of 2011, I got a call from Mitch, and he's like, "Hey, these KTM guys—they keep on calling me. Like, there might be something happening." And I'm like, "Well, I'm talking to Richie Morris to figure out if I'm going to have this Geico ride. What should I do?" And he's like, "I don't know. Give me a couple days." And I was like, "Okay." And he called back. And he's like, "Just do the Geico. It was a Geico Harley Davidson ride. Do that ride." And see what happens and then if it comes up maybe we can do both well it ended up coming up and they still chose me to kind of premiere the rc8 in the united states and uh we had one day of testing on the bike and then we went to mid ohio for the first ama race so it went from one day of testing to mid ohio and they're like mitch asked me he's like chris what do you think how are we gonna do and i'm like oh it could be 10 seconds off. I don't know. I have no no you know judgment. I've never ridden a super bike. I don't know if this is good or bad. It seems good, but you know, I, I, I really have I have no idea how we're gonna do. And we showed up and we got seventh. Um, you know, right away it was like I was actually in the hunt. You know, I showed up and it was like, huh, oh, I'm in tenth right now. Like you know, I've never ridden a super bike before and I'm in tenth. Uh, and that's just practice and qualifying and then we had a great first race and finished 7th uh, and the second one we went 9. In 2012, top 10 was, top 5 was my goal and top 10 was I guess acceptable but not, I wanted to be close towards the front. Some races when the tracks didn't suit us we were kind of, you know, dipping into the top 10, maybe that 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, but you know, at every race that we didn't have a problem, the bike was a consistent top 10, you know? um, and then when we got the setup just right, you know, we, uh, we were able to run in the top 5, which was awesome, um, you know, that's, that's saying a lot going up against these teams that have been around for so many years, you know, this was our first year, tracks we've never been to, zero data, I'm showing up and I'm still trying to figure out gearing, you know, just rolling the dice with it, uh, but it was it was really it was really good, yeah. Through the year with bringing over Stefan Nebel, 
as my teammate for a couple of those races, it helped a lot. He's been, he's the one that pretty much developed this entire motorcycle. And it is what it is because of Stefan and his teammate over in Austria. And they helped a lot, you know, um, just time on the bike really. Me getting used to a super bike, seat time. Uh, there's a lot of things that go into how we started to build and, you know, become to a, a top five team at the end of the year. Personally, I feel a lot better. Uh, I'm going in with a lot more confidence, knowing, A, I'm gonna be more physically fit, B, HMC and KTM are gonna have this whole off season just for development. I see myself on the podium. Um, do I see a big jump between this year and next year? I would like to think there's gonna be a big jump, but obviously there's only, only so much you can do to a motorcycle to make it better. You know, I think, Maybe not right away. Are we going to be like, wow, this is a brand new motorcycle. You know, we're going to be fighting for podiums at come Daytona. I'm not so sure about that, but um, I am sure towards the end of the season that with the data and what we figure out and the time on the bike, that we're going to have a good package to be a uh, podium contender for sure. Yeah, it's, it's no secret that um, she's hurting a little bit on top speed. Um, but that's just because they didn't have the time to develop the thing. Um, so I'm hoping that we make up for that in 2011, or 2013, we hope we make up for that. I think that on the brakes, the handling, all of that, I think it's one of the best bikes I've ever ridden. So, you know, if we can dial in the suspension, and dial in electronics and all that, I think there, there's a podium at every race underneath this bike. It's just, you know, putting all the pieces together. Having another teammate, it's, 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 it's having one more person working on something. Twice as many laps are getting put out, and it's just, uh, there, there, there's so much more knowledge and us working together and be like, hey, this uh, this worked for me, what about you? I'm like, no, that didn't work. Or we have a problem in one corner, but we both have that problem. Maybe it's just the bike. Maybe you know, the bike just doesn't work good in that scenario. There's a lot that kind of uh, that plays out as far as having a teammate. And I'm glad to have Taylor. You know, he just signed today, actually. So glad to have him, have his, him as a teammate, another uh, Michigan native. And uh, I look forward to having a, a fun year for 2013. She's going to do good. She's going to be up there. Look for her, for sure. Thank you.